morning again. It's Thursday already. We have one more day. Um, welcome to Daily Bread again, Apostle Ella Rock, um, coming at you this morning. Uh, we've been talking about faith versus fear, and um, it's really a powerful thing after you've heard about love for the last few weeks. Because I know that some of you, you didn't even realize there was faith, fear in your area, in your life in some area. But hearing about the love of God calls you to stretch yourself and say, you know what, I will not have fear in this. Because things, um, things arise um, in life that will cause you to think fear if you don't cast it down. That's why the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, I believe, chapter 10, verses 4 through whatever it is, 3 through 5, I believe. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Because if you war after the flesh, you're really warring with fear. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And those strongholds build in your mind. That's where um, fear will try to come to cause you to think um, the way of the world instead of thinking the way of God. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against what you know to be true about the word of God. Because remember in the beginning of the week, um, God said to Adam, who told you you were naked? And some of those lies that you have to have believed about yourself, who told you those lies? And I'm saying that not to go pointing fingers at anyone, but it was not God. Because God speaks only truth. And so it's really a time that, because we know that, uh, I believe anyway, that the days that we're living in now, they really are the last days for us. You can see all this stuff that's coming on the earth. You know that Jesus is soon to come to take us home to be with him. And so when we think about all those things, we don't really have to be afraid. Because when I was fearful, I didn't know that to live is Christ and to die is gain. I didn't know that. I didn't know that I could just think on the thoughts of God, that I could be careful for nothing. In Philippians, I believe it says in the fourth chapter, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to let my requests be made known unto God. I didn't know those things, and I don't believe you did either, because when you know things, it's not just having read it. John 6, 63 always comes to my mind. It is the spirit that quickeneth or maketh alive. The flesh profit is nothing. Jesus said, it's the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. And so when we think about fear that comes at our thinking, we have got to get into the word. Meditate on the word of God. Think about what God has already said about you in a situation. You know, in the times that we're living in now, and these are the times, and I keep saying that because that's the only times we have, is the times that we're living in now. And just like faith, faith is now. So now we have to grab hold and continuously hold on um, to the word of God. Now is what we have. Something I had wrote in reference to what I just said. Since we know that God didn't give us a spirit of fear, since we know that God desires for us to have a future and a hope, since we know, he said it to Jeremiah, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And that, those are the thoughts that we have to think upon even in these days that we're living in, where he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Now, I don't know what thoughts people are trying to put in your mind, I don't know what lies people are saying to you, but I'm telling you truth. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil. And so we know that when we think about peace and we think about evil, that's faith versus fear. Thoughts of peace. Jesus said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. 
So he's given us his peace. And so when we know that, and even like I say, hindsight with Jeremiah, I know, God says, I know, I'm intimate with you. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I don't know what other people are saying to you. I don't care what other people are saying about you. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And what are you expecting? That's what God is saying. What are you expecting? Why are you fearful? Because I am with you. Jesus told the disciples that. He says, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So we don't have to fear. No matter what comes on the earth, even Jesus said men's hearts would be failing them for fear. Why are men's hearts failing them for fear? Because our hearts have gotten trusting in the things that we see in this world or have allowed fear to come in because fear has to enter in. You have to let it in. But we have been made the righteousness of God. So we are righteous now. We have to walk out our holiness, but we are the righteousness of God. So because we are the righteousness of God, righteous living will come out of us if we tap into it. But fear has to be placed in us because it's an outside force. So don't let outside forces come in and cause you to be fearful. Because the Bible tells us that the righteous are as bold as a lion. And you can't say you're not righteous if you have been born again because Jesus was made to be sin for us who knew no sin that we that get born again might become the right, I added that part in, but that's what it's saying to make it plain and clear to you so that you can sing the song that Pastor Keisha wrote, No Fear, No Fear Here. And then there's another song that she does that really ministers, I trust you. You've got to trust God no matter what comes your way. You, we've got to learn how to trust God. And when we trust God, um, I knew it was something I had wrote down. A lot of times when I'll say to you also, stay safe, and, you, and it might sound foolish to you, but staying safe simply means stay trusting in God. That's what it means to me. Because you, you're going to be safe as long as you're trusting in God. I don't care what comes your way, what comes at you. If I say to you, and a lot of times I'll, I'll say stay safe, stay safe means keep your eyes on Jesus. He keeps you in perfect peace as your mind is stayed on him. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. So keep that in mind. Trust God in everything. You know, I've said a lot about fear, but I'm so glad that I learned to trust Jesus. I'm so glad that I've learned the word. I've learned to trust the word. Everything is not rhema to me, but enough is rhema to me that I can walk and keep on walking and keep my eyes on the prize. I press. We'll talk about that tomorrow, the vision statement, part of that. And so you don't have to be afraid of anything. Because again, Matthew 28, 20, Jesus says, Lo, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. So say, no fear here. Signing out, Apostle Ella Rock. God bless. Have a blessed day.